Hey guys, it's me Phoebe from Lemonade Puss. Today we're doing something different. Today we're crafting. I love to craft. It's one of my passion projects. So in today's video, we are going to craft this um, hot glue stick ornament crystal thingy. Um, It's because uh, it's almost Christmas and we just finished putting up our tree yesterday and I thought it would be fun making these. So here are the supplies that you need to make uh, if you want to make them. So you're going to need a hot glue gun and a napkin to put under it. So uh, if the hot glue gun leaks, then it doesn't go on your table. You will also need uh, hot glue sticks. Um, and you're gonna need some scissors to cut them. So yeah, um, you're gonna need hot glue sticks and cut them into like little uh, crystal shapes. And you're also gonna need an ornament. Okay, so I got these ornaments from Michael's and uh, my mom bought a big case of them. So, uh, what I'm making right now is my idea, but uh, on YouTube, I did see uh, these crystals on a different product. So, I thought it would be cool to do it on ornaments instead. So, let's get on to the video. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop. I'm gonna plug the hot glue gun into the into the plug down here. And while we wait, you guys can get a head start and uh, finish cutting more of these up and adding them into the pile because you're gonna need that um, for your ornaments. And you need to use better scissors. Try kid-friendly scissors. They might help you more. And make different sizes of crystals. So one is you can make short ones, you can make long ones, you can make very tiny ones, but they won't be as spiky if you're okay with that. And once the hot glue gun's good, you got to get your ornament. And you're going to take a little tiny glob, you don't need too much, and put your, um, your crystal, uh, your crystal out of, made out of uh, the hot glue sticks. And glue it on before it runs out or dries out. And before this falls on the napkin, just try not to waste glue and go on quickly. They might fall and they hurt when you step on them. I stepped on them before and it did not feel good. And if they keep, and if one falls off or another falls off, you can always glue them back together. And do both sides. It is gonna, it doesn't look so good right now, but when you finish the product, it's gonna be, it's gonna look so good. And it is pretty worth it. Once you finish, you can decorate your tree with it. And it looks so beautiful. Once the whole product's done and you put a light in the container, like the small one, it's gonna light up and it will look like so beautiful. And you can put it on your tree for Santa to look at. You can make multiple of these and maybe even share some with your friends. They'll love it. They'll also make great stocking stuffers, but might not fill the whole stocking. Unless you make multiple of them. 
So this is what I've done so far. Just this little corner. But as you see, there's little gaps in between. That's fine. If you want to make them really close, it might take a, lo a longer time. But if you don't, then that's fine. There'll be little gaps. But at the end, if you don't like it, you can go back with your hot glue gun and fill in the little gaps as tiny little droplings. It'll still look cool. I did that with one of, one of mine, but it wasn't as pointy at the end. But it was still worth it and turned out so beautiful. And then you keep on going more and more, and it should be filled all the way. And then this is what you get. But you gotta fill the crystals on both sides. You can even just fill it on one side and draw on the other if you want. But this is what it's gonna look like at the end. Make sure when you're done, you unplug your hot glue gun. But after this video, I think I'm gonna finish this one because I think these look really cool. And we, at the end, you can even paint these um, to ombre colors or just regular, even maybe put glitter or glue on it. It'll still look really cool. It even looks really cool without the whole thing. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. And I'll see you in my next video, or maybe my next interview. Bye!